Today I was scraping right up here along this part up there because we had to make room for the sheetrock because as you can see I need a gap up there well they had done a really good job of scraping everything off except for that area kind of all around the living room so I just went through and did that and that's what all this mess is from turns out constructions is a messy messy job Shaking the paint. I got Valspar, flat black. Johnny's got a paint sprayer. So we're gonna put it in there and see what happens. So we did go with a, what is the enamel? I don't know. It's flat interior. It is not a solvent or oil based because water base will not hurt the foam, anything else will. And I hope I'm not making you dizzy on this video. So this was done with an air sprayer, but he has a airless paint sprayer. I don't know what that means, but it uses electricity, I guess. He doesn't know how it works, but anyway, he's got one of those. So we're going to paint the ceiling with that tomorrow. So tonight I've got to clean out, uh, I don't know if you can see, I've got an electrical box right here. There's three more of them that are hidden. So I got to find those. Also, we did this wall because my thermostat's going here. So sometime this week, they're going to come in and put that in. So I'll be able to control my AC and heat in here. Okay. I just wiped down this railing with this, uh, solvent stuff to get the oil off of it because if we don't then the paint won't stick to it because it has oil for manufacturing so that's done next somewhere right in this region is a electrical plug that i get to dig out without messing up the stuff too much i think it's i think it's right there we'll see i think it's right there <laughs> okay i found the one here I found the one, I'll get it in a minute, but I found the one up there and also found the one over there. So now I gotta find this one, which I think is right here. Pretty sure it is. Unfortunately, in order to find that one, I have to get on this ladder, which is not the greatest thing in the world because I'm on a scaffold, but I'm being safe. So it's gonna be okay. I think it's right here. So it's a good thing that I marked this on the ground because I was able to look straight up from my mark and know about where it was. I also have, you know, this is the center of the building that runs right across here. So I knew it had to be in line with that, but I still didn't want to dig out stuff and be in the wrong spot because then I can't put this foam back. In case you didn't know, you're facing up right now. This is my ceiling, but I'm sure you know that. Um, so I'm just digging around here, trying to make this too big and trying not to get all the way to the pipe because that's gonna let cold in. So I need to try to keep as much insulation around this as possible. And I taped a little excessively around this one, I guess. So I had to clean out quite a bit, which kind of sucks. But anyways, now I'm gonna cover this up so I can spray all around it. This is actually how I should have taped it the first time. Tapes around there. I'll spray up in here. Get all that white covered. And then just out here. So, I mean, once you see it from the ground, you're not ever going to really know what it looks like that much. So, it is 14 feet up here. Okay, Sunday morning. I got paint mixer. I got a bucket. So, we're going to put these two... Uh, gallons of black in here, mix it up, and get the sprayer going to do the ceiling. What?
Okay, I made him put some, ugh, okay, baby hands. I made him put a face mask on, and then <laughs> he's asking for these, and they're all dirty. So I'm doing the best I can with one hand, which is probably lazy. I just need to go rinse them off. <laughs> oh, Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Are you helping? You're probably about ready for a nap, huh? Are we gonna give you a nap? Huh? This is the mask I was wearing. It is super duper dirty from paint and that sprayer gets stuff all over you. I'm taking a break right now because the paint that we put at the top was a little uh, too much paint, I guess. So it's kind of dripping all over the place. So we did the other side with just one coat and we're gonna let that dry for a couple hours and then come back and do some more. So hopefully that'll alleviate that problem. So that's super wet up there. That side over there is more, there's definitely like spots, but we only put like one coat on that. So hopefully that'll keep it from dripping like this. This is just kind of dripping all over the floor. So anyways, probably won't shoot that again today. It's gonna take it a while to dry, but it's looking good. Hi, baby. Do you like the ceiling? Do you like the ceiling? Huh? We decided that we're gonna wait until probably next weekend to finish uh, spraying it. I'm gonna give it a few days to dry really good because it's kind of cool out and I think it's just not drying well. Even the wall over here is not, um, it's not dry yet. So I know the ceiling's not, you can still tell that it's wet. This is our test. So this section right here is still wet. This up here is dry, which was just one coat. Um, you can kind of see up there's probably just one coat and that's obviously there's still plenty of white showing but this over here is very wet still so we're just gonna let it dry for probably this week and then next weekend we'll finish up but anyways that sprayer is awesome works really well um it sprays a lot of paint out we went through two gallons in like no time so i went and got four more and hopefully that'll be enough to finish it so this is where the thermostat's going. So they're gonna hook that up at some point this week and we can run heat and air out here. So that's my update for now. Uh, next update will probably be some more sheetrock and that kind of stuff, but that's about where we're at right now. Say bye. Are oh, you waving? You're the best part of the video, you know that?